I'll slow it down so you don't get any stones when you come up. So there you go, the boat is now in. The gales arrived, they arrived that tea time. Um, it's still blowing hard out there now and tomorrow it's supposed to get up again. And then the long range for at least the next couple of weeks looks pretty awful. There's so many low pressures out there. And the trouble is we face the Atlantic, so we get the uh, Atlantic swell. When you get a low pressure in the Atlantic, it pushes up the seas and it can be absolutely horrendous down by the boat. One, you lose your gear. Two, you can lose your boat pretty easy as well. So that's now out. We've still got four pots down in the water. We have the dinghy, so we'll be going out and checking those as long as the gales don't chuck them on the beach. And we'll be filming some fishing when we're out in the dinghy as well, when we can. The engines are now back in. They've all been flushed. They just need to be um, serviced, but I'll do that on my own time. Now, when we pulled the boat out, we did actually nip out and check the pots with the dinghy because obviously it was dry when we got there. And this is what we caught. This is the old pot, the one that we were going to retire last year. The beginning of the, well, the end of last year and just kept it going. And it's held up for another season. So. There's something. Yep. Is it a fish in there? That's a fish. That's a large wrasse. Oh, well, it caught a wrasse. We'll just drift over the reef and start up once we've passed it. in some of the water out. You get a surprising amount of water from pulling pots in the boat. Although the ropes are clean except this one. A bit weedy. The other ones were. Um, the other pots are cleaner. We've changed the ropes obviously. Oh that wind is certainly starting to build. I think it's going to come in early you know. I said it yesterday. It looks like it's going to get earlier and earlier. Uh, they gave it to come in, uh, not today, but tomorrow, and then they gave it to come in this evening, and I reckon it's going to come in this afternoon. One rest. Not a bad sauce one. Not a huge, not a bad one. Right, I'm going to get us going before we blow out the sea too long. So what's going to be coming up over the next few months then, now we've got the boat out? Well, I have got around about 60 days of fishing from the boat, that you haven't seen yet. I haven't seen a lot of it either. I mean, I filmed it all, but I haven't actually got round to it because we were so busy this summer. I never actually got round to getting through a lot of that footage. So I basically put up one day of the fishing that we did or made a video from whatever days 
and then I left out three or four days, skipped ahead, so we kept up to date. So we're going to do, we're going to be running those videos from not this weekend, after the weekend sometime. We're going to start on those videos, and we'll put one of those up a week, and it will be right, like I say, from the start of the season to the end of the season. And we'll also put up a shore one or a foraging one or whatever's going on at the time in the winter. We'll put an up-to-date one along with that. So you get at least two videos. I may push for three if we've got enough footage or if, say, we went foraging and we went shore fishing and we've got the boat videos still or the dinghy one. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what the weather does. The weather is everything's very dependent on the weather. Obviously, if it's blowing gales, then um, we're not going to be standing on the beach fishing or foraging. Well, more than likely we won't be, but you never know. Today, we're just going to have a quick look at some uh, footage this is like right at the end of the last or well, a week ago or so when the weather started to break down and we are uh, struggling to get out there. So it's it's very rough, very sloppy. And it's kind of we stopped filming during this day because the weather just got so bad. I, I didn't film a lot of it because the camera kept getting hammered with waves and you just can't film when it's like that. It's And it's not very nice to. Well, I say it's not very nice to watch. I don't mind watching it, but some people don't like all the, the noise and the spray hitting the camera, which is understandable. Anyway, let's take a look at that. And like I say, um, coming up at the weekend, there will be uh, an up-to-date video, which will be well, a week or so ago when we had a very nice day and we went out. It's one of the last trips. I think it was the last decent day we had. And we had some really good fishing. So that'll be coming up this weekend. And then after that, like I say, it'll be the boat stuff again and anything else from shore fishing, foraging to maintenance, whatever we're doing, we'll continue on or any suggestions you may have. Right, let's get to it. Let's get out in the rough. We're dragging still to the surface. It's noisy, a bit windy. We're fishing with razor fish. We've got a bottle of fish. Catch. What's that? That's a coochie. Oh! Cooches. I said there was a coochie in here. About that, eh? Yeah, how about that? First fish in the morning, we're just casting out. We're getting ready to go out actually, but um, just put a bit of bait out there, a bit of old razor, which I didn't freeze for about two years. <laughs> but it obviously still works. The only thing is, it needs a bit of cotton because it's, it's quite soft. Let's put it back here. I, I had it set on because that's how I know when the fish set that up and do that. It's good. This time, regular black one. This time, shake all my baits off. Look him straight into the water. The black one. Go. I need more bait now. Not very big. Right, 
keeping that one for supper so as you probably noticed from some of the clips maybe that we've shown it was very rough out there so we didn't really film a lot because we were getting absolutely hammered with waves as you can see by rebecca with her latest hairstyle the wet look um we just pulled this part and we had that great big lobster i'll hold it up and give you an idea big male one lovely big male on that and then we had two more and a small one so we got three oversized there and down there there's another one they're all oversized those three and we had four in this pot and uh literally right next to me mooring which is kind of weird anyway we're going to drop it a bit further out because the tides are going out or well, the spring tides are coming and it'll end up on the beach if we keep it too close so, so i thought we'd try around these rocks here this time <laughs> 